Let's go. Big push. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow. You guys need a pillow underneath. Right? All right. Here we go. <laughs>Jimmy House, built like a brick effing house. He shows up to the gym today, and I'm like, just kind of walking past. And he's like, get out of my way, bro. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so he knee barred me, my knee flew off my shit, because he's a black belt in jujitsu, no joke. And I was in the bathroom just like, ah, oh, at least he's on a ton of drugs, stupid drug <laughs> addict. And he's like, I'm actually drug free. And I was like, can you just leave? Why are you in the bathroom? I'm in here crying, I locked the door, he ripped the door off the hinges. But then as he was about to do a final finishing blow, Amazo, AKA Jared Feather, IFB Pro, teleported in, picked up Jimmy, teleported him to the moon, let him cool off for a bit, teleported him back a couple seconds of, out of breath. And then he was like, why don't we just, just, hey, let's just do a push workout so we can get chest, really messed up, maybe a bit of triceps. And everyone was like, okay, fine. So let's just do that right now. Let's just go do that right now. <laughs> Exercise number one is the cambered bar bench press. Looks like that, except for the camber. Really tough exercise, critical to descend slowly and take a pause so you maximize that stretch under load. You might not be able to touch your chest. If you can, go for it. But if you can't, just go as deep as you can. And as you're coming down, you wanna reach your chest up to meet the bar, which means you have a nice arch in your back, butt firmly planted on the seat, feet really stable to generate a lot of power and stability, and then you're good to go. We're gonna be doing sets of, oh, five to 15 reps, eight to 12 more like, and um, shit is gonna get crazy. Packs are gonna be pretty destroyed after this, and then probably another pack exercise. Let's do it. One more, big arch. One more. Let's go. Nice pause. Reach that chest. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you. In regards to minimizing the explosion, that's just uh, more like time under tension is what? Or safety. Safe. Okay. Exploding out of that big of a stretch could be the last exploding you do with a full pack. Okay. Sounds good. Once Makes you get sense. really big and strong, especially with this variation, you want to ease it up and then accelerate. Okay. Yeah, that. At the bottom is okay. cool with regular bench, but with that big of a stretch, it'd be something, probably you'll be safe, but the fraction, fractional probability of injury goes up. Um, it's important to have your pecs still attached to your body. Right. Definitely for powerlifting, because you'll never press heavy ever again. Uh, and for sure for bodybuilding, because the pecs look weird when they come apart. That was fucking great. Ooh, thanks. You doing any more top sets? We'll go down. Do steroids like us. Steroids. Do steroids. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You'll be stronger. Everyone will be stronger. Right, right, right. I forgot to tell you, yesterday I was natural, but I went home and I just, fuck it. Like, ah. Today was the day. Yeah, today's my first day. So. Bottle of testosterone oil. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, that's why I thought it goes in the eyes, right? 100%. Then you can see. You told me being more you it. Yes. Big chest. Yes, one more. Let's go. Oh shit, one more, Jimmy. All fucking day. Big chest. Reach. One more. You got it. Keep going. Reach up. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes. Nice. Yes, Jared. Hell yes. Beautiful. Ouch. Good enough on the pressing? Yeah. Let's do some dumbbells. Mike isn't training today because he did the two and a half to one paradigm, two and a half weeks of hard training, and decided he needed a deload week. So 
He's just deloading all week after two weeks of nothing. Seated barbell shoulder press is not an exercise we'll be doing today. I'm just sitting down because I'm tired. You guys, real talk, I'm old. I'm getting old. I hate when people say that. Shut up, old man. Still got to train. Anyway, rants aside, incline dumbbell presses. Hit the clavicular portion of the pecs. The cues we're going to be looking for here are big reach up. And we want the dumbbells to come to the outsides of the shoulders. I did a lot of jujitsu yesterday, so I can't move my fucking shoulder. But it would look something like that. Big reach. Pause at the bottom for that super deep stretch. Sets of 10 to 15, 10 to 20. Anything less is going to end up being a requisite of stability for that low of reps, that high of a load, that we cannot achieve with dumbbells. Dumbbells are inherently unstable and thus better for slightly higher reps because lower rep training is only best when you can get stable enough to produce maximum forces because lower reps are for producing maximum forces. Because with dumbbells, you really can't get that stable. Sets of five to 10 for the dumbbell press, not the smartest thing in the world. Good control, reach up, deep pause. Yeah, one more at least. Reach up, deep. Oh shit, <laughs> hell yeah, that's good enough, good enough, good enough. Thank you. Look at how big as fuck Jimmy is. Big ass pecs, big ass arms. Could you imagine a world in which you walked up to him before his workout and be like, you do an incline dumbbell press? He'd be like, yeah. He'd be like, how much you press, bro? What are you thinking? He's gonna say 130, 140, 150? He says 70. Proper execution, good technique, slow eccentric, deep pause to outside the chest. It means you don't have to dumbbell press ultra fucking heavy and you still get these maximum amazing effects, minimum stress on your joints, maximum stress on the muscles. It is fucking humbling. The ego will not like it. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, crap. Ooh, and that extra milk. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Big reach. Deep. Yes. One more. One more. One more. Oh, no. Good, man. Chest. Chest right here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Huge chest. Yes. One more. Great, 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 That's great, it. great. That's it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let me tell you guys about the RP Hypertrophy app. With over 28 preset programs already in the app, you can choose to make your own, you can modify an existing program, or you can just run the programs exactly as they were written by me personally. This app programs everything for you. Exercises, weights, sets, reps, frequency, the whole thing. After every single workout on every single week, the app adjusts to your unique parameters with every single input. We have over 250 exercises in the app with detailed video tutorial links to every single one. You never have to be confused about technique or form ever again. I'm guessing right now you're pretty interested in the app? Download the RP Hypertrophy app today. All right, last exercise for today's push workout is cable tricep pushdowns, supersetted to some close grip push-ups. And uh, I think we'll probably try a deficit. So let me see if I can get some blocks for us to deficit push-up with. Ouch, pain is impending. Sets of eh, 15 to 20 here on a first set, hopefully, and then uh, all the way down. Probably about three or four sets. Really get some good tricep volume. One thing you can take away from some of this advice is when you do chest first, but you have a chest tricep session or you want to give good stimulus to triceps, a lot of times it'll be like three sets of chest in the first exercise, three sets in the second, and then like four or five sets for triceps in the last. Why? Because you're already tired, but you can make up some stimulus by just doing a higher volume of work at the end. Give that some thought. Let's go do these push downs. Beautiful. 
Yep. <clears throat> One more. Good. Put it on the body. Put it on the body. Yes. <clears throat> As if you're gonna do another. Oh, okay. You're good. You're good. Go, 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 go. You're good. Okay. Push ups. <laughs> go. <clears throat> Deep. Strict. One more, Jimmy. Deep. Let's go. Let's go. Big push. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Good <laughs> shit. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow. You guys need a pillow underneath. Right? All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is so terrible. Nice job, Jared. Let's go, Jared. Fuck. Up there. Uh. Yeah. Good. Uh. Good. Uh. Big push. Shoot. Finish up strong. Shoot. Amazing. Uh. Right away. Yes, sir. No, Jim. Another one. Let's go. Another one right away. Go. Slow. One more. Slow. Up. What the fuck was that? Lock it out, Jimmy. All the way. One rep. There you go. <laughs> Good stuff. And like this. Nice. Win. Get up. That was awesome. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Mike. Amazing. Amazing Thank effort. So Amazing Thank effort. You. you know what they say is get you a man that can blank. We get you a man that can do slow and controlled eccentrics and my rep, tricep, push up, superset. And you'll be eating good. You got man, two I'm of them. <laughs> got two, man. I'm, I'm breaded up. I'm manned up. Anyway, Jimmy, what do you think? I think my biggest takeaway from the day was the alteration on the dumbbell presses as far as, for one, kind of taking my powerlifting setup out of the equation, not being as uh, driven with my legs, but still using my legs to get to an upper body position that allows full range of motion. Like I was telling you, with the bigger dumbbells, I generally press neutral to try to get down lower. But then after talking to Jared and some of the alterations that he makes to still go really flared, but not necessarily let the dumbbells get in the way, that's something I'm gonna take home for sure. And then going from something like a isolated cable push down, going to true failure with that, and then going to more of a compound body weight movement to put, push even more volume to the triceps like the push up. That was a huge takeaway for me too. And just understanding what true failure of a muscle group is, is, is something that I think I've gathered the last couple of days. So I appreciate you guys for that. Awesome, you did incredible. Thank you. Jared, you're looking big. Me, kind of washed up, done. <laughs> I'm done lifting forever. We're never gonna be back. This is the last video on this channel. It's been real. We'll see you guys never. Peace. <laughs>